I don't know why. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mike Wilson, Mike Wilson Decorators. This is my new logo. Hopefully, I'll get it onto some business cards shortly. I'm just waiting for my daughter to do uh, her magic. Here's the family. It's my wife, Sharon. She's manager of uh, Rona Training. Jessica, she's head of maths at uh, Narang School. Rosie works at Brazil's in marketing. Isabella's going to be a star. And then we won't bother about that guy. <laughs> All right, this is where it all started. I lived in a little terraced house back in St. Helens. We call it Sunny St. Helens, just like the ones on Coronation Street. But now I actually live on the Gold Coast, which is actually sunny. <laughs> okay, it all began in 1978. I was an apprentice. I got my Sitting Girls London Institute and uh, became hooked in painting and decorating. By the age of 23, I'd started my own business. The early years were a bit hit and miss with no definite structure. After a few builders went bang, I decided to restructure and try and get more uh, secure contracts. I achieved this by going into schools, councils, I used to work in power stations, I used to work for McDonald's and quite a few other people. Then I set up as well as a director in an interior furnishing company where we would refit an office like this from floor to ceiling. <coughs> Employees, in the UK, I would employ anything from 10 to 20 people, depending on the size of the contract. Uh, and then sometimes we use subcontractors. In New Zealand, I had five painters and a gang of three subcontractor plasterers. And we'd undertake different work, and we had aged care facilities, hospitals, and various commercial organizations. <coughs> then I became an integral part of the Earthquake Commission helping with the rebuilding of the earthquake-damaged homes in Christchurch, which was quite substantial. In Australia at present, I'm just building up my business. I now have two regular subcontractors over the last few weeks, which is pretty good. <coughs> networking, this is what I'm passionate about. I'm a true believer that networking is the most important way to grow your business. And I must give a huge thank you to Glenn Bossy for asking me along here originally. The HR group, or the is that right? <laughs> the GRC group is the best networking work group I've ever been in. I feel it's important to give more referrals out and the user of the other businesses in the group, then in the long run you will reap the benefits. So far I've been able to give uh, Rene, oh, so far I've been able to use Rene, Jay, Ist and Iska, Craig and Sam. I've given work to Jason, Jeff from Abbey Valley uh, Bathrooms for about 60,000. Big shout out to St. Marion. She's <laughs> Amazing, amazing <laughs> networker. It's great. Uh, Julie Watmore, Naomi, Campbell Moore, Adam Bell, Tracy Orr. Between them, referred about $30,000 worth of work, and I've got about another 15 in the pipeline, so it's, it, it, it pays. Also, the members of this group who uh, like my post on Media Outlet, which validates my business, I appreciate it. <coughs> and then, obviously, finally, to Campbell and Anita, who do all the hard work in this group. We appreciate that. <coughs> Why do we paint? Three main reasons. Preservation, sanitation, and decoration. We say preservation, wooden decorators, if you don't preserve it, then you've got to get your joiner back in and do more work. Sanitation, obviously, uh, if you paint your kitchens and your bathrooms, you're going to get away from the mildew, which you don't want in your house. And then decoration, to enhance the overall look of an interior or an exterior property. And people always say to me, it looks better than before. I hope so, otherwise, why am I doing it? <laughs> <coughs> so industrial, so you can see the state of these lines. They've got the security guard, whoever, to do them. So what we did, we had to straighten them all up, and then this was the finished product. Uh, commercial, Boulevard Apartments. If you look at this bottom one here, this, this, prop, uh, this apartment had all the archways as you came in. So what we did, we removed the archways, and then... We, we painted it all up and look at the finish now. So when you walk into the, the apartment, it looks open and spacious. Mm. It's really good. Domestic, bringing sexy back. <laughs> <laughs> Making sexy back. This comes from onto the black wall. And black walls are really hard to do. So I use a product called Resine Space Coat. It's a low sheen waterborne enamel and it's just the right kind of a level for this, this job. I'm not sure if the video's on. One second. Uh, I have to press the wrong. Here's me in work. 
I'm that busy at the moment I have to work at this speed all the time. Crikey. Any time up? All right. Moving on. This is a special effects wall. The customer wanted a gold wall in her bedroom, in, in her games room, sorry. So we sport, sourced a special product uh, that you'd normally brush on with a crisscross technique. I had to use a heavy texture roller to give her the uniform gold look. And we had a bit of fun in the way. Oh, is that what I missed it? Anyway. Preservation, sanitation. This was a job the Naomi gave us. And behind those red wallpapers, asbestos. We didn't want to remove the asbestos because it's going to cost money. So I put lining paper over it. Then we put a wallpaper, we painted it. And then we can preserve and uh, preserve the asbestos. Small repairs. It's not something advertised, but you can see the state of what this was like at the beginning. We removed that, did that, did all the plastering, and now look at the fi finished product in the corner. Customer was happy. Wallpapering, speciality of mine. There's not many people who can wallpaper anymore. So using wallpaper to in a on a wall will transform your room, and you can match it with your furnishings to achieve an effect making the room look bigger or smaller. <coughs> this was the, uh, the, the goal wall. And this is where we had a bit of fun with the customer because she wanted a goal wall. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Okay, preservation, outside garden furniture, and obviously, if you don't preserve it, you might have paid three or four thousand for this. If you've been to Bicu, I'm not too sure, it might be your deal. But um, if you paint it regularly each year, then you're going to keep the product. That paint would cost about thirty, forty dollars, and maybe an hour, an hour's labour. Why choose Mike Wilson decorators? Over forty years' experience to call upon. I have a QVC license, current blue card working with children, and I'm fully insured. Painting certificates from Australia, UK, Diploma in Project Management, and OHS in Australia. Free, friendly advice on colour matching on your projects. And one of the main things is, I turn up and I do what we agreed. And then it's not all work, it's sometimes play. St Helens, my rugby team, they're the current world champions. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Any one or two questions and <clears throat> Kevin's turn?